With all-rounder Wayne Parnell back in the Proteus squad and his wife Aisha Baker online again after a holiday from social media to focus on family, the couple are entering summer in Top Gear. Hi guys, welcome to my home. I'm Aisha Baker and this is Salma. Hey, I'm Wayne Parnell and uh, this is Harley Dovia and we've also got the Incredible Hulk. Whoa, cool. Hulky, hulky. And where are we off to, Dad? We're going to go for a little break to uh, Tintualo, so join us over there. Is it okay us? if we go? <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Love you. Bye. <laughs> so it's not often that we get to do a staycation, especially because we're so busy, both of us. But I think we deserve it. <laughs> yeah, obviously this year has been very difficult. I've been overseas for, you know, five or six months. So nice being back home. And even though we are back home, I'll still be busy, obviously, training with Western Province, but it's, it's nice to reconnect and obviously spend some quality time together, uh, just the, the two of us. As a cricketer returning to the international game after four years, Wayne and his wife would have a soft spot for this hotel's own return from a devastating fire in 2015. The bar incorporates burned milkwood from a tree lost in the flames. This comfort zone in such a naturally tough environment is a good parallel for the life which Wayne and Aisha have made for themselves in tough, competitive professions. Another reason they're so well suited. So basically how we met was um, we were set up um, on a blind WhatsApp group, which is something very different. I mean, it's, it's quite it's modern. Very modern. And I saw this WhatsApp group, yeah, there was three people in it, and then two minutes later, there's only two people in it. And I was just like, what's going on here? Neither being the kind to shy away from playing what's in front of them, they'd soon set a first date. Then, uh, and you wore slip slops so first date. Yeah, I was just casual, I was very Cape Tonian. It was so embarrassing because I wore uh, high heels. Yeah, you were like dolls. And he was in <laughs> slip slops. Yeah. Uh, so that's scary. basically how it, how it all kind of started for us. Yeah. Their wedding in 2016 had around 400 guests. The couple having decided that if you know it's right, don't second guess yourself. When and I got married five years ago, I, I usually forget our anniversary. <laughs> it was a very quick wedding. We didn't expect to get married. We had decided like literally two months before and then we got married and, um, and straight away went to play for the Proteas in Barbados. So our honeymoon was kind of with the, with the team, which was very interesting, but super fun. And, um, and yeah, if I look back on that now, it's a very fond memory for me. In the influencer game, Aisha is credited as nothing less than the OG, and from it, she's created enduring businesses. So I started um, being a social media influencer in 2009, which is like feels like forever ago. And back then, brands were not working with bloggers or influencers at all. And we literally had to go and knock down doors at brands and say, please work with us and pitch to them. And now, 10 years on, the industry in South Africa has really grown and it's, it's flourished. And I'm really proud to, be, to have been a part of that, um, to have opened doors for other people that can now you know, work with cool brands, local brands and international brands and, and make money from being a social media influencer. People often ask, how does one make money being an influencer? Well, it's the same as being a newspaper and um, running an advert in a newspaper. It's just changed, it's now online. Combining that skill with a fashion sense inspired by her grandmother, a tailor, Aisha went into business. Okay, so from a career perspective, my main focus right now is Bake Collection, which is my clothing brand. We produce everything locally here in Cape Town, employing local women to make our clothing, and then our entire business is run by women, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, it really speaks to what I'm passionate about, which is empowering women in our own country and also helping the economy and keeping people employed. 
So I think self-care is super important um, for everyone, but especially if you're a mom like myself. I think that when you fill your cup, you can then take care of your family and your loved ones in the way that you need to. I think it's super important and, and I try to prioritize that in my life as well. This is a favorite place for the couple to take time together, especially with Wayne's career taking him from playing English county cricket to the Indian Premier League and other T20 leagues. They have an especially personal relationship with the Lodge. I absolutely love Tinswala. It's one of my favorite places and there's so much history and heritage around this area. Um, the rooms are impeccable, it's so beautiful, the service is great and it's just really cozy and romantic. I actually went into labor here with my firstborn, so it's got a really special memory for me. We've got a rock from Tinswala with his name on it and his birthday that we keep at home. Um, so I'm just excited to be back here and experience this level of luxury and comfort. Being back here in Cape Town is obviously really special. Newlands Cricket Ground is one of the most iconic grounds in the world. And for me to be back here playing for Western Province, I remember as an 11 year old sitting in, in the stands watching Western Province play. I was playing in a under 11 provincial week. And that's kind of where my love for cricket grew. And to be playing professionally at, at this beautiful venue is, is really awesome. You know, hopefully we, we can do something really special for the people of Cape Town and the Western Province. You know, we have a great fan base um, and I think it's about time that we you know, try and bring some, some silverware back here again. The one thing I'm really looking forward to the most is um, having my son, Khalid, who is uh, three and a half, to be able to watch me play live. He hasn't been able to do that. Um, he's just watched me play on TV. But I think it'll be a great experience for him to be able to watch daddy play, play live. That's something I'm really looking forward to. So one of the traditions at Tinswalo is to pick up one of the pebbles here and um, put your name on it and then throw it into the ocean and set your intentions for your next year. And I think for us, we just want to spend more time together as a family, lots of love and laughter, and just um, more happiness and fun moments. So we're gonna cheers that and throw our stones in the ocean. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Did it go? Mine are in the ocean. <laughs> I'm not a cricketer. Did I make it? Yes. Mwah. For what they have achieved and are sure to in 2022, they decided to toast themselves with a dinner of fresh, local, sustainable ocean fare at the hotel's famed restaurant. We enjoy dining out together. Food is a massive part of our family, actually. Yes, but definitely. And even our son loves eating out. Yeah. Right? We, we like eating, but we like eating good food. Yes. I think it's more whole foods. Uh, I'm not on a strict diet. I should be getting a little bit older, dad bod. Dad bod. But um, it's more about whole foods. Good ingredients. Good ingredients, yeah. Good flavors and an experience. An experience Which is very like what important. Chef's Warehouse is all about. Yeah. They're down with any place where oysters are always on the menu. So from our side, we just want to wish everyone a happy holidays and a fun festive season. I hope everyone stays safe and uh, enjoy some brilliant time with your loved ones. And it's time for you guys to go now because the chef has brought something special for us. <laughs>